of motorcycles could be heard making their way into the Ambrosio Guillen Veterans Home today as dozens of members of Combat Vets Motorcycles Association came to drop off some good cheer. ABC 7's Michael Gordon was there to see these newer vets visit with heroes of war long past and remind them they have not been forgotten during the COVID-19 pandemic. We just wanted to come out, uh, you know, give them some gifts, some loves, knock on some windows and let them know that, hey, you know, your motorcycle coalition out here, we're still riding and we're still supporting you. That was the mission of these men and women from the CVMA as they dropped off the donation of gifts raised from around the community. It was a visit that made them think of who they'll have to help them through their own golden years. It gives me hope for down the road and maybe if I get end up in one of these veterans homes, uh, hopefully think people are thinking of me around Christmas and all the holidays. They wave to the residents inside and while shouting through windows, they promise to return during less hectic times. Oh, absolutely. So hopefully in January, this thing with the vaccine coming out that we'll be able to actually physically visit with these combat veterans, veterans of all branches, uh, and really let them know that we're thinking of them and we don't forget about them. The donations are one thing, but most important is trying to fill the social void left by the virus as there will be no family visits this year. Here. We've walked around, we've talked, we've listened to their stories, but with the COVID crisis that's happening across the country, especially in El Paso, it is important because they don't have their families. We, we recognize that. And with that, they formed up like a cavalry unit and filled the air with sounds of thunder and excitement that gave residents here something else and new to look forward to in the new year. Michael Gordon, ABC7. Thank you, Michael. So important to thank all veterans in our community for their service. And the public is reminded that the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association is still accepting gifts and donations. Those can be made through the Facebook page of the El Paso Motorcycle Coalition.